Hello everyone, welcome to the Mystical Creatures video series, episode number three. This is all about the trolls, and they have a unique message that they want to share with the world, with you, so that you can connect with them, get to know who they are. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. My name is Jessica, and I am a past life regression therapist, energy healer, and I help bring forth activations and codes and support people on their ascension journey. We are all in this together and we are co-creating a new reality, a new earth, and I'm here to support that journey for you guys. So be sure to subscribe and so you can get notified of new videos that come out. Uh, but this is episode number three. Last week was all about the pixies and the sprites, so be sure to check that out. And episode number one, which was two weeks ago, was all about the unicorns, which is a really powerful episode as well, so be sure to check those out. But today is all about the frequencies and the energies of these amazing creatures called the trolls. And many of you might be thinking, like, why are you doing a video series about the mystical creatures? What are the mystical creatures? <laughs> and, and so forth. Are they even real? Uh, yes, they are absolutely real, and they do exist. They exist in a different dimension, on a different planet. Um, a lot of them have walked on the Earth plane at some point in time in Earth's history. And they have wanted to come forward and they have unique messages that they want to share with each one of you. And these are light beings. These are light, polarized light frequent beings that um, are coming forward through this entire series. And they want to share what they have to say a little bit more about them because they are helping you and they are supporting you on your journey and they're playing unique roles to support the entire Earth's ascension. Um, they've been very eager to come forward and share this message to you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and dive right into it. I will be looking down to read the exact message that came through. Um, and it starts with uh, that they're a collective of about 17 trolls. And they had one spokesperson named Bergdon, and I don't know exactly how to pronounce that entirely, um, but he came forward as well, and then there was about 17 trolls behind him. Um, but they're saying that they have wanted um, to bring this forward, this message, to humanity for a long time. So they've been knocking at the door saying, hey, it's my turn, it's my turn. So um, yeah, this is why they're here today to share this message with you guys. But they're showing that they're from a planet that is very, very far from the Earth. And it has rings of light around this planet. So that's where they, most of them reside is on this planet that they were showing. Um, they often have been misrepresented as gruesome and brutal creatures and our soul history goes back to Scandinavia they said so this is where they're originally from and this is where the soul history or at least on you know the planet on our planet excuse me the earth's history goes back to um Scandinavia with these trolls um we were placed here when the earth was ready to receive inhabitants. We were among the first, so they were among the first beings to uh, inhabit the earth, which I did not know. I know the very, very first beings were the Lemurians, and they were, they evolved to more human-like beings, um, but when they first came to the earth, um, they were human-like, but they were not human. So there was a lot of different beings, a lot of different creatures that resided at that time when Earth was created. So they are saying that they were one of one of the few at the be very beginning, um, or towards the beginning, um, and their existence um, was a peaceful place. So there were very peaceful beings. They held a very calm and peaceful energy frequency and we farmed and lived off of the land they said and we had families and they lived in villages um, moving forward thousands of years humans were arriving to our lands um, we learned to hide and to survive in the trees and in the forests so it sounds like they were around prior to the humans and 
I don't know entirely the timing with the Lemurians, so I don't know if they were part of, they existed during Lemuria or not, um, or all that, so maybe I'll get that clarified, but I don't know for sure exactly the timing of that, but chances are, and what I'm feeling like is it was around that time before the actual humans came, so could have been prior to Lemuria, after Lemuria, during that time, because Lemurians were actually human-like, but they weren't actually human. So important to note that. Um, and we, okay, I already said that. So there was much unrest in their lives at that point in time in history. Um, this is where the trolls, they did quotes, this is where the trolls, our civilization um, took a turn. So they were really wanting to express and, well, express that they didn't really want to talk about how they were portrayed and how they are portrayed as, like, gruesome. Um, that was something that they didn't want to focus on. Uh, they wanted to really uh, express that they are very peaceful and that they are very calm. And they are showing, like, an army of light marching. So these are really cool beings. They talk really, really fast, and they have a really unique energy and frequency about them. Um, so thus, our, our reputation was plundering and causing mayhem. So we do not want to dwell on this, like I said, um, overly too much. So our true selves are peaceful and loving species, which I mentioned. So when the earth ascends, our light will shine as well. At this time, there are a few of us who remain on earth, although more are arriving. We will take, take our place on the side of the light. So they wanted to, um, you know, accentuate the fact that they are on the light. They are an army of light. And their place in this ascension is on the side, Team Light. <laughs> Um, even though they weren't always portrayed as being light beings, even though they had this reputation, um, this is not who they truly are, and this is not where they're taking a stand. So that was something that they wanted to make sure you understood. Um, they will join the army of light workers. Our connection to Earth runs deep, even all the way into the inner Earth. And we feel the time is drawing near join us. So they want you to join them, tune into their frequency, uh, join them in Team Light, join them in the Army of Light. They were very clear on that message. And they are showing themselves like that they're pulsating energy off of the earth and they're almost human-like as well. And the spokes men that came forward uh, and his name is Berg Bergden <laughs> and I'm not even spelling that right but that's something like that Bergden but he has a larger head deeper voice very caveman like a little bit hunchy um and he was the spokesperson he's a very powerful being that came forward um so yeah, this is kind of who they are, the message that they wanted to bring forward to you so that you can really know who they are without the misconceptions that they are these dark, gruesome, naughty little creatures out there. They're not. And even if they got that reputation or maybe, you know, that things that, that happened in the past, where they stand now is very, very clear that they are on Team Light and they are standing strong as warriors of light and they do want you to join them in that army. So that was the message that they have for you next week. I have no idea who's going to come forward. I don't know what it will be on. So make sure that you subscribe and that you like, comment, and share this video. It's going to be a really cool series on this whole mystical creatures is to help bring forward soul memories to you and expand your consciousness, expand your awareness, and think outside of the box, help you tap into the magical realms, into the different worlds of existence, see what else resides outside of this third dimensional matrix. It is time to 
awaken. It is time to expand your consciousness and tap into other frequencies of the light so that it can help activate your own soul memories and you can travel and do have all kinds of cool different downloads and dreams and tap into these different mystical creatures. They are here with love, open hearts, and open minds ready to connect with all of you. I will see you next week. All right, have a great day.